I'm not going to let them use my channel to send messages or threats out. But I'm also not going to allow them to sit around talking about these things without being monitored. They said these people are in prison. If you're in prison, why are you committing crimes while you're in prison? I don't even understand. But that's part of what this whole situation was supposed to do. Put me into it. I believe that they do these things in like, you know how somebody who is going to do something bad, they tell you in advance to kind of make you feel stupid. So that was their goal to make me feel stupid. Okay. But again, if they're not being monitored by someone who's a professional, it doesn't make me feel stupid. I, I, I have no experience in monitoring prison co communication systems. I don't even understand how this is possible in the United States. It's To me, it's illegal. How come some prisoners would have the right to communicate every day, all day to stalk someone and other prisoners have a hard time just communicating with their loved ones? This is, again, we're going back to, I want to go back to questions for gang stalkers. If this is happening in prisons, why are some people allowed to stalk people from prison and other people don't have the right to communicate with just their relatives in prison? That's a big issue. So that's that. I feel like I have, you know, they gave me another job in life other than dealing with my health, other than dealing with the harassment, the stalking and the physical.